Third down and 10. Back oh, the guy throw it. Oh, the kid! Tells a Dolphin touchdown. What's up, guys? My name is Joanna, and you're watching Dolphins Today coming to you from Baptist Health Studios right here in Miami Gardens. The squad is returning to work after a timely bye during Week 14. Miami's rest comes on the heels of its five-game winning streak despite a 1-7 and seven start. In recognition of the Dolphins' hot stretch, let's check out the play of the game from each of their last five wins, shall we? All right, let's check it out. So let's revisit week nine when the Houston Texans came to town. Here in the second quarter, linebacker Jerome Baker intercepted Houston's Tyrod Taylor, who tossed three picks in this game. Upon taking the field, Miami's offense reached the end zone thanks to this Mack Holland touchdown to seal the victory and snap the Dolphins' seven-game losing streak. And then just four days later on Thursday Night Football, Miami strung together consecutive wins for the first time all season. Here in the fourth quarter, cornerback Xavier Howard forced and recovered a Sammy Watkins fumble to put Miami up by multiple possessions. As you can hear, the resulting touchdown left the stadium, we like to say, maybe just a little loud. And Howard is in for the touchdown. In a Week 11 visit against the New York Jets, Tua Tungvaloa broke the game open with this 65-yard touchdown connection with Matt Collins. It marks the longest completion of Tua's young career and highlighted a 24-17 road win. A week later, Miami hosted Cam Newton and the Carolina Panthers, seeking its fourth straight victory. Xavier Howard came through again on defense, this time with an interception to set up Tua's nine-yard touchdown toss to Jalen Waddell. Finns win 33-10. And just last week, Miami balled out again, this time against the New York Giants. Miami helped seal its fifth straight victory thanks to Isaiah Ford's impressive footwork on this touchdown toss from Tua. The connection gave the Dolphins a 17-6 lead as they won by double digits for the third time in five outings. All right, fans, let's take a step off the field and acknowledge a lifelong accomplishment by Miami team owner and noted philanthropist Stephen Ross. Mr. Ross recently received the Trailblazer Award for his noted support of Miami, Miami-Dade County, and South Florida as a whole. We caught a few notable moments from the ceremony. Catch them right here. Check it out. He's a, really an important advocate for the growth of South Florida. And I think, you know, it inspires us to really being part of that, to do things every day, looking to see how we can make this community a better place. Miami, what it really needs it needs inclusive growth, and this is what we stand for, and this is what we're determined to really work with and help succeed in this community. We'll continue with the off-field theme with the Miami Dolphins cheerleaders who had an opportunity to partake in the NFL's My Calls, My Cleats initiative in the team's victory over the Giants. Check out their customized, might I say, dope sneakers and the stories connected to them. Check it out. Yay! Oh! With a little downtime over the bye week, players and coaches found a way to kick back and relax ahead of the stretch run. That most certainly applies to defensive end Zach Sealer and his love for the great outdoors. We caught up with Sealer about his passion for nature, hunting, and fishing. Check out Sealer's outdoor vibes right here. I grew up in Michigan, a little small town about an hour from Detroit, half hour from Ann Arbor. We had 30 acres. We would uh, hunt and crop and great memories we used to have out there. I started playing football since uh, second grade. Full pads, no, pad, no flag football, uh, instructional football as kids. I play um, nose guard, linebacker, tackle, and um, my favorite one is tackle. And I play center. Football's kind of overlapped with my love of outdoors ever since I was a kid. Just working as a team, working with people that you don't maybe not know right away to uh, get accomplished what you're getting done that day. Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, he's a duck dog, and then Casey trained him to get iguanas as well now. We'll take them out and we'll run them on hogs. So you take them in the side-by-sides, buggy, whatever you have, let them go, and they'll catch a scent, and they'll bay a pig, and then you'll go in there and do what we're doing that day. What's that? Dogs just, play, dogs just play in the water now. They're not hunting. <laughs> you said they're having a blast right now? They're just playing in the water. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, fans, well, that's a wrap for Dolphins today. Coming to you from the Bathurst Health Studios. We'll see you on Friday. Until then, go Fins. Bye, y'all.